A reading from Joshua. After the death of Moses, the Lord's servant, the Lord spoke to Joshua, son of Nun, who had served Moses. Moses, my servant, is dead. Now you and all the people prepare to cross over the Jordan to the land I am giving to the Israelites. I have given you every place where the sole of your foot treads, just as I promised Moses. Your territory will be from the wilderness and Lebanon to the great Euphrates River, all the land of the Hittites, and west to the Mediterranean Sea. No one will be able to stand against you as long as you live. I will be with you just as I was with Moses. I will not leave you or forsake you. Be strong and courageous, for you will distribute the land I swore to their fathers to give them as an inheritance. Above all, be strong and very courageous to carefully observe the whole instruction my servant Moses commanded you. Do not turn from to the right or left so that you will have success wherever you go. This book of instruction must not depart from your mouth. You are to recite it day and night so that you may carefully observe everything written in it. For then you will prosper and succeed in whatever you do. Haven't I commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or discouraged, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Hope through new beginnings. That's this week's theme of the hope through the wilderness. The story is from Joshua. The story is about Joshua. Actually, the story is about God and how God is using Joshua to bring about God's good purpose. Be strong and courageous, says God. Do not be frightened or dismayed, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Moses had led the people through the wilderness, but Moses would not see the promised land. Moses died just south of the promised land, just before crossing over from the wilderness into this freedom. It would be Joshua who would lead these people forward. And God makes a promise to Joshua that just as I have been with your servant Moses, so I will be with you. We are now entering into spring. Today is a gorgeous day. It's about 70 degrees. The sun is shining brightly, there's a breeze in the air, there are all kinds of sounds of spring, birds are singing. But the plant that was focused on for the reading is a magnolia in our yard. It's in the corner of one of our landscape areas near our house. So it's on the southern side of the house, so it gets a lot of sunshine and it has been absorbing the heat this ground has for the past week or so when we've had warmer weather. And if you'd notice that there are some blossoms that are beginning to take shape on the end of the branches. Signs of a new beginning that are about to burst forth. 
Karen and I spent several hours over the course of this past few days over the weekend. And we have been doing some cleaning up and preparing for the season that is yet before us. As we gather together this week, we continue in this journey of Lent and we continue to be reminded of our wilderness walk, but we still weekly, daily, seasonally, we are reminded of the new beginnings that are before us. As I was preparing for this message, I looked down at the base of this plant and I noticed something. We have oak trees that are in our yard. And here is an acorn that is in the mulch just near this tree. And there's a sprout that's coming, breaking through the shell for this acorn. This is one the squirrels haven't found, obviously. This is one that had the possibility, if sown into the earth, could have produced a new tree. I might just plant it in a pot and see what happens, to see if it continues to grow. We have all kinds of signs of life that are around us, all kinds of things that are new beginnings for us. Oh, we certainly long for new beginnings. We long for a time where we are gathered once again, safely together, where we can sing together, where we can have a cup of coffee or some other refreshments together. We can only anticipate what that might mean for us as these next weeks and months and years unfold before us. This is a new time for us. This is a hopeful time for us. This is a time when we anticipate not a return to the old, but a move to new beginnings. Joshua could just see in the distance the promised land that was before them. They only had the anticipation of what that life next might be. So it is for us. So it is for us. We can anticipate what is yet to come. We can't fully realize it. We can't fully embrace it. But we are hopeful. Be strong and courageous, people of God. For the Lord your God is with you wherever, wherever you go. God's continued blessings to you in this Lenten journey. As we look time and again for signs of life, new life bursting forth around us. As we live as people of a promise. A promise that God will sustain us and God will be with us wherever we go. May that promise cause us to live our lives with hopeful anticipation and expectation. God's peace to you, my friends.